What is up guys? Today we have another unboxing video. We are going to be unboxing and setting up my new Abronia Mexican Alligator Lizard. Now these lizards are some of the coolest lizards on the entire planet. If you've never seen one before, once I open that up you'll definitely know what I mean. They look so amazing and they're so beautiful. And honestly when it comes to the cool factor, I think these might be my favorite lizard in terms of just how they look. Now, they're not my favorite lizard. My favorite lizard is probably some sort of monitor lizard because let's face it, monitors are just super cool and they're pretty hard to beat. But when it comes down to just looks, I think these guys give monitor lizards a pretty good run for their money. And so without further ado, let us unbox him because I cannot keep waiting for very much longer. And so let's get to it. So if you'll remember, my last knife broke during our last unboxing video. So today we're just gonna be using a regular kitchen knife. I guess we'll have to make do. Let's get to it. There's definitely some heat in here. Um, oh, and I think I see... Oops, this. Okay, this is... This is him right here. We'll open this up in just a minute. He's very warm, so there's a heat pack in here somewhere. Yeah, here's the heat pack. Here's the heat pack right there. So he's definitely still warm, which is good because it's been getting cold recently. So that's actually why I was supposed to get this last week, but because of the cold, it was delayed. I'm very excited for this. Let's put this down. If I'm being honest, I am just a tad bit worried. Generally, while these guys are pretty slow moving. Uh, he's still a baby and they can bolt if they want to. So I'm gonna be, have to be very careful with this. They also can be a little bit bitey, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I've been bitten by worse than this guy for sure. All right, let's see. Okay, I see him. Oh my God, he's so cool. Let's take out this paper towel. This is the coolest thing. He seems pretty fine with handling so far that very little bit so let's see if i can coax him out i don't want to just grab him that's the thing i want him to kind of come out a little bit on his own he's opening his mouth at me a little bit but just barely he's not being very aggressive but he's like hey watch it i'll try this let me try flipping the bag inside out definitely don't want to just reach in and grab him because I'm not again I'm not worried about getting bitten but I do want him to trust me and if I'm just to reach in and grab him that's a very predator like thing you can see him now popping out yeah if I just grab him that's a very predator move and so I don't want to be doing that look at that Mexican Alligator lizard. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your entire life or what? Can't wait to set this guy up and put him in his new home. Yeah, he was being a little, he was being aggressive, but he was kind of not the happiest in the beginning, but he seems to be fine now, more or less. He's kind of licking the air and, you know, checking things out. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put him in a container, not in this bag. I'm gonna put him inside a plastic container and let him chill in there for a couple minutes while I set up his enclosure. And I'll show you guys how I set it up. And then after we set it up, I will put him in there and let him enjoy. We start by adding some substrate to his new enclosure. I'm using a mix of cocoa fiber, jungle mix, and reptile mulch. I mix up the substrate by hand and that's really basically it. Next up, I'm going to add some branches and stuff for this lizard. Because they're an arboreal lizard, they need more vertical space, and that means you have to give them some branches and stuff to climb on. I started by putting in some bamboo, some cork bark, and some driftwood. I realized afterwards that the bamboo probably wasn't the best choice, because he's not really able to climb it very well because of how smooth it is. So I'm going to end up replacing it with something else pretty soon. Here we're adding some fake plants to give the enclosure some decor, and also to give the lizard some enrichment. I also add some forest moss to help keep some humidity in the enclosure, and also because it just looks really nice. Next up, I'm putting in his lighting. All these lizards need is a UVB bulb, because they really don't need heat, and actually too much heat can kill them. And that's because in the wild, these lizards live in pretty cool climates, 
and so heat is really not necessary and too much is actually bad for them. I forgot to add sphagnum moss before, so I'm doing it now. Again, this is going to help keep humidity inside the enclosure, and it'll also provide the lizard with some good enrichment. Finally, I end off by thoroughly spraying the tank. These lizards need to be misted pretty regularly, so I'm going to end up spraying the tank about one to two times every day. Now we're all done setting up his enclosure, and it's time to add the lizard. He didn't really want to come off my arm at first. But eventually, he got there. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. I am actually really happy with this lizard and I'm super excited to see how he does. I'll definitely be sure to give you guys updates on anything new that goes on with him. Now I do have to say that these are not a beginner lizard. Their care is a little bit more specific than some other lizards. And if they're not given that proper care, they can actually die. And there's already an issue with these lizards in the wild. Because of how cool they look, so many people want them and you know, that makes sense. But the problem is we are taking too many of them from the wild and there's not enough of them that are being bred. Now, Originally, I was not planning on getting this lizard for at least a little while, but I was looking online and I found one that was captive bred, which is not as easy to come by these days. So I decided, you know what? Let's just go for it. So what I do ask is if you guys do decide to get one of these lizards, please, please make sure you get one captive bred. And also please make sure that you've thoroughly researched how to take care of them because the last thing that anybody wants is for this lizard to die on you. And on that cheerful note, Thank you guys again so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know if you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time.